in this particular session we will be seeing the changes that has been done from the previous version of e office to this version of e office and uh, i will guide you through the way in case if you feel there is any kind of issue or any kind of thing that you didn't understand during this session you can let me know stop me in between and let me know and ask again okay so as we log in from our credentials this is the home page that we will get this is the portal page that we will get earlier we used to get a portal page wherein there was a notice board in the center and uh, all the modules in the left so this is the new home page of e office here and you can see we have a central console so this is the central console from here you can see that we can check what are the e files and e receipts that we have received and if you click here it will directly uh, take you to e file to this particular file or receipt okay here is the media gallery where you can see if any updates or any new tweets or has been uh, given by the organization here is the notice board any circulars office orders is published here and there is one more portlet or one more option that you can add in the central console you can customize this also now what all things that you want okay uh, on the right hand side you see a option of team so this team option is basically uh, for who all are there in your section or in your OU, okay? And you can also video call them from here only, mail them from here, message them, or you can also assign a task, okay? In case somebody is on a lunch break or a tea break, so you will see, okay, this particular person is on a lunch break or a tea break. It would be specified here, okay? and how to set a status for lunch or tea or meeting from here. So if you click here on the lunch break, you enter how many minutes that you want to go for the lunch break and you can take a break simply from here. Okay, so anyone in your section will get to know that you're on a lunch break for 30 minutes or 40 minutes or one hour. Okay. After that, on the left hand side you have all your modules the home e-file kms mail under the other services email diarization okay pims and mdm are for the administrators okay uh, so we have you have all the other applications so we will directly jump on the e-file option okay so here is the e-file button i will click on it and it takes me directly to e-file <clears throat> this is the new e-file uh, on the top you have the shortcuts for the receipt for file for issue or dispatch <coughs> So we have provided these shortcuts in order to make it easier, save your time for two options. Okay. So in case now you want to create a receipt, click on create electronic receipt diary page would open. Okay. In case you want to create a file under the file shortcut, click on create file cover would open up. Yeah okay you also have all the options in the navigation bar on the left hand side okay you will have all the options here but these shortcuts are provided in order to save the time okay for example you want to create a file okay so you what what would we what would you do you would click on the navigation bar on the file then click on create new so there are basically three clicks 
firstly you have to click on navigation bar click on file option click on find the create file and then click on create new okay but here we have specifically provided this shortcut you just click here and file cover would open up okay. so these are the shortcuts these are the most commonly used shortcuts okay um, in order to make your work easier and save your time secondly we have also provided the option of language here understand this language option will only change the language of your buttons and not the content of your file or receipt only the buttons okay. the content would be in english only okay so this is would this would be in english the uh, file uh, noting and the correspondence would be in english only the button would be changed the metadata of the button okay thirdly in the inbox we have provided a option of filter for file and receipt both so what is this filter sometimes you want to search a receipt or a file on the basis of subject category in hindi or any other regional language or any priority has been given to that receipt or file or that particular receipt or file has come from any vip person okay so you can actually filter out the files based upon its priority based upon its subject category based upon if that particular receipt or file is from any vip person or based upon when it was sent or when was the due date of the file or receipt okay so for example i just want to see any receipt which has been marked with any priority okay so i will click on the priority option click on okay and i will just see the priority marked receipt so this receipt has been marked with utmost priority that it should be processed immediately so i will see this receipt okay so i will come to the filter option click on clear <coughs> okay so this was some basic changes that has been done to e file some of the um, changes that you can see on the inbox the shortcuts okay other uh, language options